Hello everybody, my name is Rahul and in this video we will be discussing about malicious PDF files. Can we create them? What could be the use cases? And how can you create one for yourself? Now I am sure you might have seen a ton of videos online and research papers and blog posts claiming that you shouldn't open up any Word document or Excel document for that matter that you receive over the internet or over mail. Now that is quite true. You shouldn't open up anything that you get from an untrusted or unverified source but can the same be said about pdf documents so should you try to open up any pdf document so in this video what we'll be trying to do is we'll be trying to explore that domain because pdf files can be malicious in nature too it can not only cause ddos attacks but it can also lead to information disclosures and even command execution for that matter so in this video what i'll be trying to do is i'll be trying to explain it to you with the help of a demonstration and now i'll be linking a research paper down here along with the github repository from where i took the source code so with that let's begin so before i move on to show you the practical demonstration i would uh, encourage you to go through this research paper that is written beautifully by the on web security and insecurity team so this was a paper published by a university and here in the show that they went through 28 of the most popular PDF processing applications and they found that out of 28, 26 was were vulnerable to either one of these attacks that they have defined. So they defined attacks into four major categories which were the denial of service attack, the second is information disclosures, data manipulation where you can write and read data of a computer and the final which is the most feared which is code execution. Now what was the purpose, what was their motivation? So this team says that they went through a lot of attacks and they went through a lot of blog posts but they were theoretical in nature. So they didn't actually you know they didn't actually find any exploit or the exploits were limited in number. So they actually went ahead and here this is sort of a post-mortem of how PDF processors or applications how they parse to the application and herein they explain how you can generate PDF files which were which are malicious in nature. So I'll be linking this uh, great research paper on the in the in the description of this video. I highly highly recommend you to go try it out and read it out. Sorry. So let's just start with the hands of stuff. Now the name of this repo is malicious PDF, and I will link this uh, in the description of this video. Anything malicious that you try to do is on you. I do not recommend you to do this. This is only for penetration testing purposes and educational purposes. Now first of all, let's just go with the usage. Now if you download this, what you will get is a malicious.pdfpy file. Once you get this, all you will be needing is a URL that you control. Now I do not have a URL or an IP address which I control. So what I'll be doing is I'll be using burp collaborator, which is right here. So click on the burp tab and there you will see burp collaborator client. So it's up to you. You can either use burp collaborator, ngrog or any other IP address that you control. This can also be a private IP address, but then the attack will only work in the private IP. So the private network. Now what this will do in turn is that it will generate about 10 PDF files, sorry, yeah, 10 PDF files, which you can use for your purposes. And what was the purpose? The first purpose, it says that it is to test web pages and services accepting PDF files. Now what I understood is that if you try to upload a PDF file and instead of just storing it in its server, what if the backend is actually trying to read the data to see if anything malicious or just for any other purpose that the developer might have thought. Now in this case, if the application actually goes ahead and parses the application or parses the PDF that you just uploaded, this could result in a big vulnerability because the first reason is that if an application is actually opening the PDF file and if the PDF file is malicious, it can compromise the security of the entire application. So what we'll be trying to do is clicking on code, copying it, opening up my terminal and since what I've done here is I have already downloaded it. So what I'll be doing is I'll be removing it so that we get a fresh install. So I'm sorry about that. It is rm tag r. So yeah. So what we'll be doing is git clone followed by the name of this directory. I'm sorry about that again. So git clone and there we go we have the directory now we have these files let's just remove the license and the readme md file because it will be generating a bunch of files 
so what we'll be doing is we'll be going to the burp collaborator client again you can use ngrok click on copy to clipboard and what i'll be doing here is i'll be clicking on typing in python 3 malicious pdf.py and here you do not have to type in the schema which is https hit enter and as you can see no errors were found and if i type in ls you will see that i have about 10 pdf files here with me now what i am guessing here is that they are based on different applications so will not be going through or will be go will not be going through the source code of malicious pdf file right now so what i'll be doing is let me just open up the folder that contains the malicious pdf files and here they are now these are pdf files now if i click click quickly go through them you'll see that there is nothing in here in the first one nothing in the second one third one wouldn't open at all maybe this could be for another format that my application doesn't accept again as you can see test case uri if i just click on it it is redirecting me to a site which i control as you can see now had i made a proper ui which could resemble the, the facebook the uri or the front end of facebook i could have easily compromised the user now these are some of the use cases i won't recommend you to try it on anyone but still this is good for, in, in case you are testing an application that accepts any file now there are a lot of files that have been generated now if i move towards my burp collaborator client you will see that these were the bunch of requests that were generated by my client or the pdf uh, whenever i clicked on anything that was there in the pdf document so this sums up everything if i click on any one of these again you will see that it quickly opens up something that i do not know what it is and this is fairly because i'm clicking on anything that just that is just there as you can see i just clicked on the link and what it did was it it executed something on the back end and opened up another uh, document so this is one of the use cases one of the many use cases that you could try and think of so thank you guys this is it for the video